CBR250 and that one if you already watch my channel is the MT09 2008 and the CBR250 is the owner Cassis so what is here is this one huh? what year is this one 2013 CBR 2013 CBR 250 so what I think like this bike it's a really good option for beginners and the MT09 I already like talked about this bike in my video and if you guys want to know something else about the MT09 just leave the comment below and I will answer if I know the answer so the CBR 250 um, in my opinion it's really good if you buy a used one so you're not gonna spend a lot of money because as soon as you like get used get used to to ride the bike probably you're gonna think about like uh, uh, CBR 1000 or CBR 600 or even the CBR 500 but this one you don't need to spend a lot of money and it's beautiful bike and it's look like a a thousand cc uh, like most people who don't understand about motorcycle they are gonna believe this this one it's one of the those like what a thousand or 600 cc but this one it's only 250 cc it's fast enough for you going the highway for you ride the bike but the difference is with this bike you, you're gonna use more your throttle you know and if you compare like the MT09 with the MT09 you have more torque you have more power so uh, the throttle is like really sensitive so but with this bike you have like you know use more and this is why it's really a good first bike because you're you're learning how to ride a bike and this bike if you are thinking to get like a a uh, sport bike it's already a sport bike so the way you sit the way your feet you're gonna change the gear and brake it's is the same as you're going to a CBR and Towson you know you're not gonna feel a lot of difference but if you look at the MT09 this is a total different bike the way you're gonna sit in the bike the way you're gonna put your feet and everything is like it's total different and the uh, MT09 definitely, uh, in my opinion, you feel like more comfortable because the way you sit. All the sport bike, it's not for you feel comfortable. It's for you go fast. You know, you're not buying a sport bike because, oh, you want to chill out. You want to like drive, like go in the highway or whatever. Because you love race. You love, you know, go fast. And that's the reason you buy a sport bike. I used to have a CBR 1000 R1 and I loved, you know, after a while you get used to, at the beginning maybe you, you feel like tired riding those bikes because of the position, but after a while you get used to and you don't feel tired at all. So if you feel like a sport bike and you're young, I definitely recommend, you know, and maybe in the future you're going to start to think about the a naked bike or a more comfortable bike, uh, maybe like a Harley or something like that. This bike, um, what else? You're gonna save a lot of money. And another good thing is the maintenance is not gonna be uh, too expensive, like a CBR 1000 or even like the MT09. Uh, this you're gonna save the money. So it's really good for the beginning because you wanna save money and saving money, you're gonna get like a, another bike faster. And you can trade in you know and you're not gonna put like a lot of money up front with this bike another thing about this bike is if you drop the bike like you can see this guy how many times you dropped this bike already um, the first time was in a small parking lot the second time was in my in a house parking lot so two or three times yeah. How many times? Two or three? Two. So he already dropped the bike two times. Like you guys can see, it doesn't have a, a, um, a lot of damage. The only damage you can see here is like a few scratch and an exhausting here. 
and a few scratch in this part but this is nothing nothing broke you know if you had a cbr thousand it's heavier so probably you could break something and with this bike like you can see he already dropped the bike like two times and nothing happened so it's a another good like uh, option like another good point for you get like those kind of bike and like i said this bike it's lighter than the cbr 1000 and so you're not gonna have a problem if the bike uh, drop and you have to lift the bike right it's because it's lighter than the cbr 1000 if you can see like you compare like both bike uh, can you see like it's it's a huge comparison when you put like a uh, big biker uh, close to the small one the engine here it's bigger so it's way heavier this is a good bike good option maybe if you get like a second bike I don't know if you want to change like your style but this bike it's definitely if you you know like take it easy because even I like I ride a bike since like eight years old and this bike has a lot of power and it, I don't know, like it's different. I feel like it's safer for you have like a CBR 1000 than this bike. I don't know why, this is my opinion. And uh, leave the comment below if you already have a CBR 1000 or an uh, MT-09. In my opinion, I think like the MT-09 is more dangerous than a CBR 1000 or R1, you know, like the sport bike with a high CC. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, the video. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and so can you show here like the? Can you turn on the bike so you can see the how it's work everything? So this one is like uh, this paint. It's like the they have in a Moto GT. So you're gonna have you're gonna pay more for that. So you can see here is the digital, digital you said that? Yeah. And the RPM, it's not. Oh damn, Whoa. almost crashed. <laughs> so turn on the bike so you can hear like the, this is the bike, how the bike sounds. It's the original, like didn't change the exhaust. So this is why you, you don't hear like a lot of noise. I definitely love this paint. For me, this is the, the most beautiful one. And if you like motorcycle, and if you like uh, race, you know like what kind of paint is this. And this, usually you have to pay more for that. And the MT-09, this is the 2008. It's the old one. They have now uh, old um, headlight. Because the new one, the headlines just uh, one, it's not split, like not two headlines. It'd be like just one, like the CBR 1000. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.